There was an old lady called Kaki. She crept because her hands and feet were very weak. Her husband had died long ago. She lived with her nephew, Harry. She had transferred all her property to him. Rupa was Harry's wife. Harry had two sons and a daughter. Largely, dot the boys never behaved properly with Kaki. They used to tease her a lot. Kaki would cry out, but no one listened to her. Largely was only one who had sympathy for Kaki. It was an evening. Sanai was being played at Harry's doorstep. It was his elder son's engagement. Celebrations were going on. Purees were being fried in kadhai. The sweet smell of ghee and spices was in the air. Kaki was sitting in her room and it was dark inside. She could smell the crispy and sizzling purees. Images of purees floated before her eyes. She began to move slowly and crept close to the kadhai. When Rupa saw Kaki sitting close to the kadhai, she lost her temper and shook Kaki with both her hands and hurled abuses at her. Old Kaki didn't speak a single word. She returned to her room. She felt insulted. The dinner was ready. All the guests had started eating. Kaki in her room thought not to go until she was called. The pleasant smell of food was tempting but no one came to call her for dinner. Thinking she is not a guest that she should wait for the call, she decided to go outside. She crept into the courtyard but bad luck. One of the guests saw her and shouted, Who is this old woman? Where has she come from? Be careful. She may touch someone. Pandit Harry became furious. He caught Kaki with his hands and dragged her into the room. Seeing this, Ladli felt really bad. She thought, what if Kaki had eaten before guests? Would she had eaten all the pears? It was eleven in the night. Everyone was sleeping. Ladli had not eaten her purees yet. She put them in her doll's basket and went to Kaki's room and said, Get up, Kaki. I have brought purees for you, Kaki asked. Has your mother sent these? Ladli replied, No, it is my share. Kaki finished all the purrs but she was still hungry. Kaki said to Ladli, Child, go to your mother and bring some more. Ladli replied, If I wake her up, she will get angry. Kaki said, Take me the place where the guests ate. Ladli took her and made her sit among the puttles. Kaki began to eat the food which was left over by the guests. Just then Rupa woke up. Dot. She did not find Ladli beside her. She went out into the courtyard and saw Ladli standing near the puttles. Kaki was picking the leftover food and eating. Rupa was stunned. She felt sorry for Kaki who remained hungry even on a day of feast, where so many people had food to their content. Kaki bahabd like this just for some pieces of purees. She was in a state of shock. Her eyes were filled with tears.